Welcome back to How Realist He Rebuilt the Kingdom anime review episode number 21. And oh boy, this one has got a long title for the episode, like a few words. Oh no, it's called Using a Shrimp to Catch a Sea Beam, but instead to catch a shark. Yeah, that is literally the name of this episode. Which I'm like, really? That's a long title? Okay. Now this one pretty much covers the rest of chapter 2, and it goes through the first portion of chapter 3, basically the first few pages. So we pick up a left off last week, where Roanard tells Sultima, I'm here to marry you, and when the book says I'm here to get hitched. And Lucia, yes, in the book she does this too, she walks into her, and she calls her sis, she does in the book too. Basically, a lot of this episode, with the exception of like, there's, a, there's like a couple small bits of dialogue and a couple of different moments that you cut, but mostly put, it's a very accurate adaptation. Like, you read the chapter, it's like, not much difference here. So, <clears throat> Roanar basically reveals that she was behind the uprisings happening, except for one in the Northeast. That one she was not involved with. Uh, that was actually caused by the Papal Church. The, the religion country. Yep. And basically she deals with her plan. She basically also has no desire for the throne. That's a slight wording change in the book. Where she wanted the, their child to inherit the business. Basically she brings relation with her own company. So. Basically kind of details her plans. What she wants to do. Aside from marrying someone because she kind of likes him. And the fact that well the background research on him. And also, they mentioned Sebastian. They do bring up a line that Sebastian mentioned back in episode, I believe it was 13. Where he referred to as a, a charming little devil. And, of course, in the anime, she said she was going to strangle Sebastian for saying that. But charming does fit. In the book, she doesn't say this at all. They made that line for the anime. That's the only, that's like, one of the very few anime original lines they have for this episode. So, I have to tell her plan. The fact that in a great... Uh, uh, is going to engage to her. They he she wants more company to keep it on the finances of the country, and so agrees to that. Now in the book he also says uh, as he wants her after he asks Lucia permission to basically engage to her, or she agrees. Alicia and Juna have no problem with it at all. Now the line where he says basically I want you, he does not say in the anime. Basically just agree off screen to become engaged. And then, of course, then we have the conversation with Maria and Sotoma. It's a pretty accurate scene. Like, from what I can tell from the book, it's not much change here. Of course, she does detail stuff related to the Papal Church, where they hate uh, the Grand Chaos Empire and the Star Dragon Mountain Range, basically. Uh, but in, in case you're curious, though, will the series go there? Yes, in Book 6. I don't know if they're going to adapt to the season. I have no idea. If they are, I'd be surprised if they do. Because we're already on book four. And we're only... Get this. Excuse me. We're only eight episodes in. To the second cur. Well. And we're only eight episodes in. And we already finished episode three. Just, I think it was just a few episodes ago. And like three episodes back for this one, and now we're on book four. I don't know if we're gonna get the bit. I don't know if the anime is gonna get the book six. I think they might probably end on on basically book six. They they probably end at book five, which seems like a good place to end it because basically book six seems like a very contained book. Yes. Yeah. By the way, Rowan, aside from the whole thing about that they hate Maria because she basically she's a saint. And of course, Sultima agrees that they hate the dragons up because, well, they're, they're not human. They're basically dragons. And the whole thing, the mother thing. And the fact they like Maria because she was not approved by them to be a saint. Despite the fact she was recognized as a saint. And I, it's interesting, though, they agree on a lot of points. And the whole thing of, they bring up the whole company thing. I want one of her finances to the treasury. And both Sultima and Rona was like, no. <laughs> And basically, Copa being charged of tightening the reins in case they, they spend too much. Yep. And then, of course, basically, the kingdom is basically unified as the kingdom of Frida and Armenia, basically Fridia. That's what they call it now. And then they have the conversation with Maria, which, by the way, that actually started Chapter 2. 
in the anime they have it right after that conversation because you can kind of tell this chapter was told out, it's basically told out of order it's basically the whole events of like last episode and this one is most on flashback that's actually a pretty good change in my opinion because the way person in the book is like oh we had this present day conversation of the, what happened and then we have the explanation we have this happened before that which in my opinion smart move on JC staff for doing that great job and they do bring up the fact uh, the Maria conversation in the anime lasts for about the same amount of time it does in the book it only takes about 5 minutes of screen time the whole thing is rolling on I think it's a majority of the episode and after basically they agree to continue basically work together and ba well at first she doesn't recognize it but at first they show us a, a tale about the guy of the east guy of the west they actually detailed that particular story in the anime but Sultan was one telling it because in the book Maria was the one who basically told it yes Like uh, okay yeah, it's kind of interesting in the fact that they, they, they actually, that was actually a change in the book itself. Yes. The story itself is pretty accurate. There's not really much to change for that one. It's a story about East versus West, basically who's better. Some independent state. It's mostly the same. And then afterwards, basically. <laughs> I think I was basically tweeting stuff. I'm occasionally tweeting with Donnie Kosla basically about various stuff he basically does. Okay, yeah, so, after they handle all that stuff, and they cut back to the office, which, they had a little bit here, basically, where a whole, they actually had a reason why that the first portion happened, the book, book three. Yeah, this is a little bit of anime original stuff here, where uh, Herkura tells Sultima about the fact there's a pile of paperwork on his desk. So he goes back to his office, and they have him do paperwork, and then the very next day... You have him waking up. You'd be woken up in his bed by Aisha, and then he says, "Morning, Aisha and Lucia." He's like, "Don't good morning to us." And basically, why are they mad at him? Why are they near his bed? Because Rowan is in his bed. Yes, seriously. Like, like, and they're wondering, oh, like, what happened? Of course, Sultan mentions that we kept our clothes on. Nothing really happened. And they mentioned that, oh, that the, she actually would stay up late the previous night. So, like, they, she had no energy to go back to her room. She's very sleepy. And they even have her basically go on, go have her head near Sultima's groin, which she does not do that in the book per se. Basically, she just crawls over. They actually added that to the anime. In the book, he just shrugged her shoulder to wake up because I don't think she actually moved onto him in the book. Because that's what she does in the anime. And then, well, she mentions that, that she, Sotoma, and Cobalt were up all night. And she was just so exhausted. She had, like, in the book, she meant, in the anime, she mentioned she had no energy. In the book, she was just exhausted. She basically just passed out of this bed. And then she tries to crawl out of the bed, and she just falls right out. And then you have Lucia telling Aisha to please carry this girl to her room. And... And then she says yes. And the book basically she tries to call her Sia Princess. But she, and then she kind of like don't call me that. And just like okay Lady Sia. Yeah they cut that bit out. Probably because basically they're trying to speed it along. And plus the they probably cut that tiny bit out in my opinion about this. Time. Because <laughs> this whole scene was like less. It was only just a couple minutes. And then afterwards you have Salto basically kind of a very very conver a conversation with Lucia about oh Marx is telling her produce air 
and he's not worried about it. Though he does, will in fact, do this. The whole thing of producing air with Lysia, that would not happen in the book. This actually happens in book five, which I'm hoping the anime covers that. Yes, I'm really hoping of that. Heck, they might have the end this season. It's possible, but it all depends upon GC staff and how far they take it. I hope so because it'd be kind of weird, basically, not to have basically to have that have the scene have the season end that way. I mean, yeah, where are we on book four? I'm hoping go straight to book five. I'm hoping that because it took a few episodes just to finish up book three. Yes, book three took up more than just a few episodes. Yes, book three started with episode fourteen. Yeah, 14 is basically where book 3, uh, they pretty much went from that point forward. And I don't think they wrapped up book 3 until like... Let's see, I think it was with episode 16, was it? No, it wasn't 16. It was... Uh, I think it was 17 when they finally wrapped up. No, it was actually 18 when they wrapped up. Yeah, it was 18. They pretty much, at that point, decided to wrap up uh, Book 4. No, book 4, Book 3. Book 3 took a little while. Yes, yeah, so they roughly covered Book 3 in just 5 episodes. And so far, Book 4 has been covered in 3. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Book 4 has been covered in just 3 episodes. Mm-hmm. So if you think about actually, well, for this season anyways, <clears throat> well, technically, book two was covered for about six episodes because they did start adapting book three with, uh, actually, no, it was actually seven episodes. They, they did start to adapt this one in episode uh, 12 when they started adapting book three and it didn't finally finish up until like episode 19. Basically, episode eighteen it took a while. Uh, do I think that episode? Do I think book two, not book two, book three, would take the same amount of time? It uh, it depends on the depends on my JC staff of how long it takes to cover book four. I mean, they're already three episodes into basically death of book four, and they just with this episode just finished adapting chapter two of the books. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you might be thinking, okay, how many chapters are there in book four, you might ask? Well, there are six. Plus a bonus story. And you're thinking, really? Yes, really. Though the prologue was, I don't think was adapted for the anime. No, not really. Though I think that, well, they're probably going to adapt basically chapter three, the West Rest chapter three, presumably for next week's episode. That's my personal guess anyways of how they're going to do it like if they want to do a full chapter it just depends on exactly like how far they're going to go with it but like I said it's all done on the part of JC staff how far they're going to take it and well they're not exactly halfway through the book itself well they could be yes but final chapters mostly you can say it's basically chapter 6 for the book itself Yep. So yeah, that's it for the circle of you. Uh, stay tuned for next review, which is going to be a comic corner, and then the case at Advantos. Okay? Thank you. Bye.